Alright, Shikamaru2122 here, and here is my second tutorial on how to do manga scans. Before we start off, I have two things to say, really quick things, so I can get started. One, I do not do anything other than manga scans. I specialize in that, and I really don't, I really don't do anything else. If you have any questions on how to do other stuff, I can always refer you to someone else who does other things besides manga scans. And number two, for people who have been doing this for a certain, certain amount of time, for years per se, please refrain from ha harsh comments from other people who are just beginning to learn how to edit and have questions. I assume we all have the respect to understand that we are all, well we were beginners at, at a point in time, so we all have questions that need to be answered. Anyway, now that's out of the way. Here are the key things I'm going to show you. To summarize this, this is a beginning tutorial, which means it's for people who are just starting for the first time, who have no idea what to do, and they need some some key things, some some little um, what's the word? You know, helping tools, helping abilities to help them in their mo in their editing. Um, to start off, let's see uh, edit picture made by me. As you can see. This is from Naruto. This is a character named Tayuya. Okay. Now, if you, if you focus on certain um, parts of her body or certain parts of her outer body, like her her headband, her clothes, her eyes, those things in the back, that everything is aligned. Everything is you know, together. <sighs> Nothing looks messed up. I'm going to teach you certain things that can make your picture look like black and white, something like this. Now to start off, we'll get a, um, you'll get a picture. This is a manga format of Shikamaru Nara, or Nara Shikamaru, depending on how you want to say it. Notice how it's in black and white, nothing's colored besides, you no, know, his clothes and hair and everything, but it's just black. Okay. For a person who is just starting for the first time, their thoughts are, their thoughts are, okay, obviously I have the color, but what's a way to color and not mess up? Well, I'll show you. When you're in your layer format right here, you see a little background, make sure er everything is the same. Don't don't worry about anything right now. All you do is go here to the little um, arrow, you always press control, uh, sorry, shift control N to new layer. Now when I'm doing this, I like to classify certain things you know, like I like to do skin first because I label skin or you can like do hair what face clothes whatever you want to do whatever you want to start off with but make sure when you're doing something new always create a new layer and always name it something so when you mess up you can always go and always erase that layer and start again what I'm gonna do first since this is a a, ba a basic uh, picture we'll start with skin okay press okay now notice how it's on normal right now. We will want that. We will want that to be on multiply. Now I bet your first thought is, okay, why multiply? I'll show you right now. If you keep it on normal, it's gonna overlay. It's like it's not gonna blend in with with the picture. It's gonna create like a little blob right there, a little a little spot. Of course, yes, sure you can erase and everything. But if you want your picture to be exact, precise, without have to worry about erasing so much, you would want it to be on multiply. Multiply is the best thing for you. And see how I'm just going back. Okay. So always remember, when you create a new layer, name it, put it on multiply. Multiply can be your friend or it can be an enemy depending on how you use it. Okay, and let's start off. For a, for a person who's starting for the first time, here is a thought they're probably thinking. And let's say they were, they were a Shikamaru fan, just like myself. The first the first thoughts are, okay, I want to make this look exact like exactly like Shikamaru, but the thing is, I don't know how to find his true color. Don't fret. Don't even worry about it. Cause there are easy ways to do it. Let's say this picture was a picture of Tayuya. And you're saying, okay, I need a, I need a picture. I need, a, I need a, her color. I need to have her color, but I don't know where to get it. All over the internet, Google. You can Google it. 
I know some of y'all have bookmarked pictures of certain characters that you like that you want to edit. Take those pictures, those CG pictures, those actual screenshot pictures of that certain character, and take that color, that, that color uh, scan. If you're wondering how, it's simple. Let's minimize this, and let's go to other picture. As you can see right here, let's say that the previous picture that you saw was a Tayuya. You're like, okay, I, got, I have to get a color like hers. All you do is go to your little eye dropping um, eyedropper tool. You'll find a clear spot that has just her skin alone, like right here. And you'll click. Were you confused? We'll do it one more time. So this swat, this, uh, go back to our swatch, swatches. We'll make it both black. And I just, you're still on your um, eyedropper tool. And you click in that same spot. And watch the black right here. It changes from black to that little peach tone color. That is that is her 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 set color. Now I'm I'm assuming that you're thinking right now. Okay, I have the color, but now I want to save it. How do I save it? Easy. As you're still in your eyedropper tool, if you scroll, if you scroll, if you move here, you you see a little it changes a little paint tool. And it says right here, click to create a new swatch. Well, you have to click, of course. And right here, normally it'll say uh, either swatch one or say um, a color or whatever, whatever, and it'll name it. In this part right here, you can name this whatever you want, like skin default, but skin tone default, whatever you want to name it. I already have one set, so I'm not going to name another one. So I'm just going to cancel this. And when you name it, you just press OK. And for this tutorial, we'll use that same color that I used from Tayuya for Shigamaru. Now, remember that you have to stay and multiply. Never stay out of multiply. And you just begin editing, begin chaining in. Notice how I'm going into black spots, but you don't see it. Because black, it doesn't show it. Even though you're going over it, you won't see it at all. And yes, I'm going out of the I'm going out of the picture, but it's for a cause. Cause so I want to make sure I get every little spot. Why? I'll show you why in a few seconds. Which can be a key thing to editing a picture, cause nitpicky things will mess up your picture. And you can always, even though you go out the line, you can always erase. Which I'm doing at the moment. If you can't see it, I'll zoom in for you. See how I'm erasing it? Okay. Let's say for this part I'm coloring in. Let's say I colored just this part. And let's say I was so lazy that you know what? I, I don't want to color that part. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we'll go over here, we'll just color this this other uh his shoulder right here. Like I said, if you go out the, go out the lines, just erase. There's one thing you you can learn when you are uh, editing manga scans. Even if you go out the lines, you can always erase. No one will know that you you erase. No one knows that you'll cheat. Besides me, because I'm the one teaching it. And you go into his face. You know, color in. Sometimes I advise people who are beginning to go out the line. That way you know that you color everything. And notice in his hair that it shows the spots. That's because Chikamaru's hair is not the way that they the way they shade this is not is not totally black. It's it's a kind of light black color, which is why it it shows. Is you you can't really tell unless you're really looking at it, but it's there. Like I said, you need if you mess up, go to your erase tool and erase. Nobody will know that you cheated. I said besides me, because I'm teaching it. And while I'm racing right now, for anyone who has interest in learning more how to edit manga scans, or just find my tutorials to be entertaining yet fun, you can always subscribe to my channel. You can always send a friend request. You can always send a message asking me to do a certain thing for you. And I will make a tutorial based on your request.